Uh, so hi everyone today we'll be talking about some advanced prompt engineering techniques so before in my previous videos i've already explained about uh, beginner techniques for prompt engineering as well as intermediate hacks now this time making it the last video in the whole series it will be talking about some advanced framework that has come in recently for improving your prompt that is react chain of thoughts and trees of thoughts so let's get started so for like if you wish to recall what is prompt engineering, the basics of prompt engineering and some intermediate hacks, you can uh, connect, you can watch my previous videos on that. So right now, let's get started with chain of thoughts, also called as COT. So basically, chain of thought aims at breaking a very complex task into multiple steps and making the LM work on these subtask rather than a very complex single task. So eventually, as I've already explained in the previous videos, LMs are not as smart as human beings, right? So eventually, if you give them a very hard task in just one go, they might not be able to perform well. But if you ask them to do it step by step, they might be able to do it. So in case of chain of thoughts, chain of thoughts can be implemented in multiple ways. The first, the most popular one is using few shot learning. So if you look into this particular example here, what we will be doing in case of few shot learning is that in a prompt, we'll be giving it some strategies to follow. Basically, if I give you a question, how you should answer it. And eventually we'll ask it to answer in the same manner and eventually we'll see that the LLM would be following the same approach most of the times. So let's get started. So in this particular prompt, just see that question was, when was the last FIFA World Cup held? Answer. So basically this is a, a training data that I'm providing in the prompt itself. So is follow up needed? Yes. Follow up, which country hosted the last FIFA World Cup? Intermediate answer is FIFA World Cup was hosted by Qatar. Who won the last FIFA World Cup? Intermediate answer was was won by Argentina. So eventually, what I'm trying to build up is uh, I'm trying to build up a, a chain of steps. Like once you get a question, how you should approach it. You should not be going directly to the answer. You should go through some follow up questions to gather more content and eventually give the final answer. So if you look into the second question, who is considered the greatest basketball player of all time? Are follow up questions required? Yes. The first follow-up question is how many NBA championship has the greatest basketball player won? Interview answer is the greatest basketball player Michael Jordan won six NBA championship. Follow-up which team did Michael Jordan spend the majority of his career? Some answer and then finally Michael Jordan is considered the greatest basketball player. Now in this particular approach you saw how we can using a few short learning we can implement chain of thoughts where we give it a question and let the LLM think in step by step approach. And we are eventually providing the steps also. Okay, these are the steps that you can follow. Now, uh, after giving two examples, the third would be our actual question. Who won the 2003 Cricket World Cup? So I'm expecting that even uh, uh, for this question also, the LLM would be following the above approach, uh, the in asking for follow-up questions, and then finally coming to an answer. Now, the second step, uh, the second method by which you can implement chain of thoughts is like, rather than providing uh, examples, if you don't have those examples, you can go with zero shot learning. So zero shot learning is basically you're asking the LLM to think step by step in the prompt itself rather than providing some examples to follow. So this can be a prompt. Think step by step and explain the steps on how to make tea. I think this is very uh, baseline. This is something that I explained in a previous video also. So basically for implementing chain of thoughts, you can either go with three short learning or zero short learning or break the task at your end. So this is very cumbersome like you're engaging in a conversation and providing the subtask that uh, that should be divided by the LLM you providing it the subtask and then eventually uh, you're driving the conversation. So in that case, it might become a little cumbersome. Now talking about the second framework that is react, that is reason hyphen action. So basically in chain of thoughts, we are letting the LLM to think step by step. In case of react, we are also asking the LLM to think and act step by step. So let's understand this also. So uh, according to the paper uh, in which react has been mentioned, it says that it is better than chain of thoughts. Um, method. So let's uh, deep dive into this method. So basically it has majorly three parts. One is reasoning, reason the current state and what needs to be done, action, take an action depending upon the reason and observation, results after taking an action. So if you look into a sample react prompt, how it would look like, so this looks like something. Solve the given task by following thought, action, observation for each step. So in, ca uh, in case of chain of thoughts, we were just thinking step by step. Now we would be acting also and observing what are the results after that action, right? Thought can be reason about the current situation and next steps to follow. Observation is what results are achieved after taking action. 
action can be of three types right action can be either you search the item in the internet of the knowledge base come up with a new follow up question on the keyword or finish the answer now giving the final answer a question how to prepare tea so in this case uh, what you are expected what the lm would expect to do is for every step of tea like how to think or how to prepare tea it will every time it will follow a three sub step journey first it will think what to do action it will take an action whether like uh, depending upon what to do it will choose an action to do as i have mentioned the three action you can go with anything right this is not a restricted from that you should follow only and then third would be observation what results it got after the action the last one being my favorite favorite and the most interesting one that is tree of thoughts tot so in uh, in case of usually what we do is ki we ask it to uh, solve a problem for us but eventually what we can ask llms is to have multiple approaches start up with multiple different approach towards solving a problem and eventually eliminate them one by one until the final solution comes so you can think it as a tree based structures where like very very helpful when you are going with maths using llms because llms are not good with maths so if you are trying to solve some mathematical problem using llms this can be a great approach or even brainstorming different ideas so you can start off with multiple ideas and depending upon the feasibility or whatever the ideas will get eliminated eventually by the llm itself so if you look into an example of how tree of thoughts work assume five experts will take turns taking sharing one step of their thinking to answer okay so what uh, i am asking the llm is to think of there are multiple experts sitting in the room they will continue the process moving on to the next step until one of them realizes they made a mistake right so assume that we are providing is a mathematical problem five different people started with five different approach the llm started with five different approach and eventually as it is moving uh, step by step ahead and uh, when uh, whatever point the llm realizes this particular approach is wrong it will stop then and there according to the prompt until one of them realizes they made a mistake and leaves the discussion the question is how to make tea so uh, when i am asking such a question uh, we will start off with five different approach of making tea uh, all these approach will move uh, step by step ahead and eventually whatever approaches would be wrong will get eliminated do remember that few short prompting that we did in cot chain of thoughts can be tried with react and trees of thoughts as well right so basically in such cases what you need to do rather than giving this prompt you need to provide an example how the five agents will uh, like for an uh, like for example for how to make tea you can make expert one step one expert two step two expert three step three and eventually eliminate so that you can show the llm ki how uh, this trees of thought work same for react also so few short prompting is something that works for everything and all and also when you uh, whenever you are providing an example you are assisting the llm a lot take it as classification problem only whenever you are trying to train a machine learning model also the more data you provide uh, the better the model becomes right so if you are able to provide examples for any of the frameworks you think i think the llm would get a lot of help from it to reply to your answer thank you for uh, for now i think we'll be joining soon